Good evening and welcome back to 30 at 6. I'm Hannah Rodenbaugh here with the band Downforce. Thanks for being here, guys. Hey, -o. thank so you. So tell me a little bit about yourselves. Uh, so my name is Adam Irwin. I am the drummer for Downforce and um, I go to Northeast High School and I am 14 years old. Hi, I am Alex Irwin and I am the guitarist and uh, lead singer and as of recently somewhat the bassist <laughs> of Downforce and I just had a blast playing with you two. Yeah, it's really fun. I'm Bryce, 20 years old, I go to Cecil College. Um, just like you said, recent, I recently joined after they won Battle of the Bands, which you rocked it. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about Battle of the Bands, how did you guys get involved with that? So we have been within the Cecil College music program with the Rockestra and the Rock Band Academy and the guy who runs it, Andrew, uh, Andrew Dickinson, he had mentioned a battle of the bands and we had done it previous, uh, the year before, and we decided, yeah, let's do it again. And this time we were like, maybe we can try to get better than we did. Last year we got third place, or not last year, 2017 we got third place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no. That's the, yeah, the okay. now, now it's Whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. so, and then, so we were like, okay, we'll try to do it again. And it went really well. And we ended up getting first place, which I'm extremely happy that we did that. Yeah. So how'd you guys get together? Bryce touched on it a little bit. How did Downforce get to be Downforce? So Adam and I are siblings, which means we've constantly had each other with all of our music endeavors. Um, we've gone from, we, we've had some other people who come and go, but for the most part, it's just been Adam and I mm -hmm. that have been this consistent unit. And then, uh, recently though, we, uh, came across Bryce from Cecil College and we're like, hey, this guy's pretty cool. <laughs> and so we abducted him and he is now here making us sound better by being the best member of the band. Eh. Because he's, he's Bryce Bird. I don't know about that. He's the yeah, best member of the band. Okay. So, um, how'd you guys get into music? So, when I was five years old and when Alex was seven years old, our parents decided to sign us up for music lessons <laughs> because I had always liked music and I, I danced to music apparently. Um, and I got signed up for piano lessons, he got signed up for guitar lessons. And, uh, my original piano teacher moved to Florida when I was eight, nine, around that age. And then I got a new piano teacher who then moved to Hartford County. So then I decided to try drums because there was a drum teacher in the music lesson area. So, and I started to really like it and really enjoy it. And so now it's my thing. Alex has always been playing guitar since he was seven. So, yeah. Yeah, and as far as us listening to music, I think some of the earliest stuff we were introduced to by our parents was Led Zeppelin. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The Beatles, Led Zeppelin, classic rock was nice. our... Yeah, some yeah. good choices. That's what we grew up <laughs> So, other than those, what kind of music do you listen to to be inspired? What, what are your influences? So, Alex and I actually have pretty different, well, <laughs> relatively different music tastes. Um, I prefer the rock that came out of the early 2000s, like The Strokes, The Hives, Interpol, um, The Killers, bands like that. Alex prefers the, rock, prefers the rock that came out of the early 2000s, including, but not limited to, Linkin Park, A Perfect Circle, and a slew of other bands from that uh, decade that I really can't think of right now because I am yeah. tired. Yeah. <laughs> so now that Bryce is in the band, he's contributing a little bit, what kind of music influences you? Uh, s s a lot of the similar bands and stuff, but I was raised Led Zeppelin and then I don't know what it was about it, but I just stuck to that. I haven't had like any other song preferences over Led Zeppelin and uh, Pink Floyd and all, ah, that, Pink all that late stuff. Yeah. Uh, but uh, recently, I think a contender 
is John Mayer, just his play style and how difficult his songs really are versus how they really sound. Because <laughs> um, some songs just sound so easy and then you play it. And it's some of the hardest songs that I've ever learned. Yeah. yeah. So I think we have a good idea, but just give me a quick description of what is the sound of Downforce? What can we expect to hear from you? Alternative rock. Alternative yeah, I think, I think that's yeah. pretty much what we used to say. Yeah, with yeah. Bryce is starting to mix the classic rock influences more and more, mm -hmm. especially with his guitar effects and mm -hmm. his style of playing, which is great. It really floods out the sound with just everything good. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, mean, I, I heard you guys play recently at an open mic, and the sound is really well rounded for such a small group. Yeah, it's, it's good, very yeah. impressive. Thank you. Um, and I also know that you guys write all your own music. Mm -hmm. so yeah. You're going to be playing some originals for us tonight. So, what's your writing process? Well, it's a bit interesting. We don't like say, hey, I want to write about this. We never really do that. It Instead, starts from a riff. It starts from a riff. Yeah, it always starts from like or Alex sound, will come up with yeah. a guitar riff, or occasionally I'll come up with a guitar riff, even though I don't play guitar. I'll just think of something. It's guitar, bass first. It's it's and then drums right after. Yeah. And then I put some sort of scat vocals over top of it, that really makes no sense, and that's okay because it's you know first yeah. time going yeah. through a song, and then. We keep rehearsing that and rehearsing that, and then um, more and more lyrics solidify, and the story of the song starts to come together, and then we perform it. <laughs> yeah, and now with Bryce, we're kind of switching between Bryce playing bass and Alex playing bass, mm -hmm. so we're adding the bass lines in with the songs after we've written them. The so. key here is Bryce is good at bass. <laughs> so, Do you typically write about... Um, you know, things that are personal stories, you know, things that you've gone through, or do you typically write narratively about a hypothetical story? So that's interesting because I do a little bit of both. Um, with the some of the stuff I've been writing most recently, it's been quite literally a combination of both, of taking my own personal experiences and putting it through the eyes of other people, but that's a little wonky and that's for a, a different day. <laughs> work, <laughs> work in progress. Yeah, <laughs> work okay. in progress stuff. So it sounds like you guys are are really getting out there, and you're you're on your way up here in the local music scene. So what? Yeah. <laughs> where can we see you play coming up? Our next event is going to be at the Cecil Con on April thirteenth. Um, at Cecil College. Yeah, at Cecil College. And I believe that event is uh, five dollars admission for non-students, and I believe it is free to get into for Cecil College students, but you can head to the Cecil Con Facebook page to find out a little bit more about that. And where can people get into contact with you? Um, so we have a uh, Gmail that we recently set up and a YouTube that we very recently <laughs> set up, uh, <laughs> as in like just set up today. Okay. Um, and that will be uh, banddownforce at gmail.com, as in B-A-N-D, uh, D-O-W-N-F-O-R-C-E at gmail.com if you want to send us an email. Um, and our YouTube channel is Downforce Band, although I think that's a little hard to find right now. But Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you.